This is Fauzia Hirome, resident of Lusanja Chitezi, located in Wakiso district. On her one acre of land, she has two cows and two calves in a small shade that she says have transformed her life. In 2012, Hirome, who started with just one cow, decided to embrace the use of biogas technology after she learned that the dung from a single cow could generate electricity. Biogas is scientifically defined as a type of biofuel that is naturally produced from the decomposition of organic waste. So how does one start using biogas? Abdul Kalim, a biogas engineer, explained that the whole process starts with the construction of a biogas digester. A biogas digester basically is a unit that is used to digest waste so that we generate out gas for cooking and lighting. Kalema adds that a biogas digester must have at least three components to function properly. These are the mixing chamber where all types of waste is collected. The main digester has a second component which connects to the third component, the expansion chamber. The tap which we see here is the one which switches on the gas on and off, the one which goes to the kitchen. And there is a unit here for servicing the valve whenever we get a blockage. Then all the waste, once, it has been, once the gas has been used up, is directed to the expansion chamber. Okay. So where yeah. is the expansion chamber? This is the unit known as the expansion chamber. When the cow dung has been, all the, when the gas has been used up in the, cow, in the mix digester, the, the, the waste comes to the mixing chamber, sorry, the expansion chamber which is shown here. And then when the expansion chamber is full, it goes into the cellar pit. Mm. The cellar pit is the storage facility for the materials which have been used up. And they are ready for taking to the gardens to use as manure. In her kitchen, Fauzia Hirome goes ahead to demonstrate for us how she uses the biogas that has already been extracted by lighting her cooking stove. She's also full of praise for some of the other benefits of using biogas energy. It has no risks. Even if they open it, you, you, it, it can't burn anybody. That you will just lighten the matchbox and it burns. No, it is natural. So it can't burn. And another thingy, uh, it saves. Because I was using charcoal, a sack I could use it for just two weeks. But now if I buy a sack of charcoal, I can use it for like four months or three. She also goes ahead to recommend this kind of technology to her fellow farmers, especially when it comes to the extraction of manure. If you are a farmer and you wait that down to cool down so that you can use it, it will take a long process. But the biocellary, you just use it there and then. Even if it has just come out, you, do, you use it there and then. So I think they better do it uh, very quickly because they have already lost the time. The Uganda National Alliance on Clean Cooking is one institution that has helped people like Fauzia and Hirome get equipped with the skills they need in their bid to promote biodiversity and environmental conservation through clean cooking. You're talking about saving energy, you're talking about saving a forest cover that uh, we are depleting badly now that the population is shooting high. You're talking about health, the health of Ugandans where we see many uh, Ugandans approximately left. About 20,000 Ugandans dying annually because of smoke-related diseases every day. So uh, the, big, the biggest problem is that uh, many are not aware about uh, some of these solutions which we are trying to come into curb at a high rate. Biogas has been promoted in the rural areas due to its affordable energy as well as its ability to reduce rubbish in the homestead. The path of tactful innovation, biodiversity, clean energy and climate change mitigation is one of the few things that very many Ugandans are willing to take on but very few are willing to implement. What we are learning here today continues to show us the level of creativity and workmanship people are willing to put in. We have learned that biogas can be used in your homes for cooking but also can be used as a supplementary tool in the gardens as manure. Suhail Mugabe, NTV Green.